In this video, you will learn three things. First, the reasons for taking a Panorex x-ray in order to better inform your patients on benefits of this procedure. Second, the proper operation and development of the x-ray. And third, as patients may ask about safety, you will also learn the relative exposure of the radiation during this procedure. The Panorex x-ray machine, or the Panorex as it is commonly referred, is the workhorse of any dental office, being used five to six times daily. This makes it an important tool to know how and why we use it. Unlike the stationary x-ray cone machine, which is taken in a series of 18 small pictures, the Panorex is a full oral image on a single large film. We will get into the benefits of the stationary x-ray cone machine in the next video. Before having your patient take off all jewelry and removable prosthesis, make sure to discuss with them the reason why you are doing the procedure. First, find out when and why their last dental x-rays were done. Make sure to discuss with them the reasons why you are doing the procedure. The reason for a Panorex x-ray include finding abnormalities in the jaw, sinus, and TMJ, such as bone cysts and tumors, periodontal disease, blockages, or infection. The Panorex displays the complete dentition, showing any missing anatomy, such as teeth. This procedure is done every three to five years, starting at age five. If unable to obtain current x-rays from previous dentists, a new Panorex can be taken to ensure proper diagnosis and treatment. Finally, these x-rays can be used to help identify patients should they become lost or missing. As to safety, humans are exposed to radiation in our everyday lives. The Panorex x-ray machine exposes the patient to about two millirems of radiation. To put this into perspective, you are exposed to the same amount when you sleep next to someone or living in a brick building. After you explain the reasons and the safety for the x-ray to your patients, start by having them remove all jewelry or metal objects located on or around the head. They will need to wear a lead vest. If your patient has had thyroid surgery or has had a thyroid condition, a special collar will need to be worn. Next, have your patient step up to the x-ray machine platform, placing their chin on the rest and their teeth in the bite groove adjusting the height so that the chin is parallel to the floor. Make sure that there are no obstructions between the area being x-rayed and the film. Now adjust the temple plates to secure the head from movement. The sensitivity measurement on this plate will be used in a moment. You may need to have the patient step out in order to get this number. After obtaining this number, Make sure that the machine is once again properly set to your patient. Turn the machine on and adjust the needle to the sensitivity found on the temple plate and start the x-ray. Once the x-ray has completed its cycle, remove the film bag and take it to the dark room for processing. Once in the dark room, make sure you turn off the light before opening the bag. You can use the red light to see what you are doing. This red light will not interfere with the chemical exposure of the film. Take out the exposed film from the bag and feed it into the film processor as shown. While this is developing, place a new film into the bag, making sure the film is placed between the two white sleeves and reseal the bag. Make sure the film is completely in the processor before opening the door. Take the new film and place it on the Panorex machine, making sure it is lined up correctly and reset it to be ready for the next patient.
Question 1. In addition to the lack of a current x-ray, how often should you take a Panorex? A. Once a year. B. Every visit. C. Three to five years. D. Every ten years. Question 2. Which of the following is not a reason to take a Panorex? A. For identification reasons. B. To help diagnose periodontal disease. C. To check for missing teeth. D. To diagnose decay. Question 3. The radiation exposure of a Panorex x-ray is equivalent to a. Sleeping next to someone for one year. B. Living in a brick building for about two months. C. Two millirem. D. All of the above. Question 4. Which of the following must be removed prior to an x-ray? A. Earrings. B. Hearing aids. C. Implants, D, braces, E, A and B, F, C and D, G, all of the above. Question 5. True or false? Leaving the overhead light on or the door open during the film processing will not affect the image. Question 6. The sensitivity setting for the x-ray image can be found where? A. On the chin rest. B. On the temple plate. C. It does not need to be adjusted. D. All of the above. Question 7. The Panorex will show. Choose all that apply. A. Teeth. B. Gum line. C. Bone. D. Sinus. E. Tongue. 